This is uh, King's Quest V, played by Kuroi no Kaza, which is Q-U-R-O-I-N-O-K-A-Z-E. Oh, those are my favorite kinds of presents. Sierra presents? Give me the presents! <laughs> I like Sierra presents, except when they're, when they're bullshit hard, then it's... Basically, when they're anything but Gabriel Knight, I'm not a fan. You know, we hadn't played a King's Qu or looked at a King's Quest <laughs> game in a while, and my heart kind of went yonder. Warning: This cartoon contains material that. <laughs> By the way, I'm taking a survey. Or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory. Here is a cutscene whose purpose is to make sure you haven't watched the cutscene. We'll also provide a tutorial. Uh oh. Cass. Ca uh, hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Let's just introduce that castle really far in the background. Oh, I meant to get closer. Uh, hello? Hey! Hey! Hey, over here! There's a thing? I'm trying to conduct this invisible orchestra. I think your Daventry castle's in trouble. Do they have a hedge fountain there? What the fuck is that? I'm either trying to warn you or land a plane. <laughs> I, well, oh, 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 oh well, well, never I, mind. I, I tried to warn him. In medieval uh, SimCity, that's what happens when you put the bulldozer icon on a castle. Well, that was King's Quest V. All right. Thank you, Ken Williams. Thanks. Good stuff. Good uh, test of concept, I would say. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's a great job uh, creative directing Bill Davis. Mm -hmm. It was his creativity that allowed this guy to have that strut. <laughs> Might as well uh, sniff the daffodils while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Just a nice little walk in the forest. I love nature. Oh, he was in the wedding at the end of King's Quest VI, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is King Graham. He is the protagonist of King's Quest I, II, II, and V. But not three and four. Uh, I don't believe so. Hmm. No. He's, he's decidedly less annoying than Alexander was, but we have hmm. someone else to make up for it. So he's still pretty annoying? Um, from what I've seen, not nearly as much. He's, he's a little less, you know, obsessed with a girl and, well... In a tower. <gasps> oh my! That oh my said, he is a little over dramatic. Happened. Hey, I'm an owl and I have a shirt on. Actually, that's a vest. He's a well dressed owl. Oh, okay. Oh, I can tell you what happened. Uh, what? High quality voice acting. Oh, I know what happened here, Castle. I saw it all, yes I did! This is already too grating for me. Well then, <laughs> what happened? I'm mildly curious. <laughs> oh, it was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Tell me more, he Professor L. I happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Are you wearing a paper airplane? Well, don't stop now, go on. I'm just totally intrigued at your story. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. It was so terrible it unbuttoned my vest. Then caused the wind to draw the castle up <laughs> they call me Owls Gone Wild. Oh, I hate his voice so much. All right. If I can just aim an arrow at him, I could. Why? Why would this <laughs> <Jesus. more> <laughs> I am auditioning for drama class. Why? <laughs> Why do another take? I got that perfect. I know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. <laughs> but not your hat, unfortunately. Perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard. Which is why I recognize you can shrink your giant back muscles. <laughs> Small world of wizards. His name is Crispin Arthur. But we His name is Crispin Glover. For short. The only oh. problem is. Is he a serial? <laughs> oh man! Fantas fantasy slapstick. <laughs> it's funny because he's dead. <laughs> Graham's fucking built too. Look at Seriously. That. Jesus. Do my pecs help? Light you back up? <laughs> he has no reaction to that. Just, well, all right. <clears throat> anyway, oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. That was necessary. The only problem is See, the five year olds who would laugh at that would never complete this game anyway, so. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Let's get the cue cards closer to him. <laughs> He just gets a little forgetful now and again, that's all. Let's just hope they don't notice I'm Ken Williams and you're a programmer. Ooh. I know I brought it with me. Aha! Here it is. God, I hate him. My drugs. 
Owl weed! It is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordad. <laughs> Did your wings turn into a hand there? Was... Fine wizard smoke trees. But you don't have a choice. Looks like you won't have a flexing contest. I think I can show you up. <laughs> uh, uh, that hat looks especially stupid now. <laughs> oh. It's the bottle hat. <laughs> what is that stuff? <laughs> Cocaine! I got it from a dispensary in San Francisco! Wait, did you say fairy dust or angel dust? To the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. Ooh, I think the fairy dust is still good. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I snorted some on my way here, and I feel great! Maybe that's why he fell off the branch. Because he's tripping balls. Come on! Up here! Wait, what? what did they record that in a closet? <laughs> Fairy dust, I guess. I'm not animating flying. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so the quest begins. <laughs> the quest of kings! <laughs> Five. Fairy tales plagiarized Peter Pan to start with. Alright, bye bye What's this guy's name again? Oh, uh, the, the king? Yeah. It's king Graham, as in the cracker. Graham, okay. Mm-hmm. How many grams of fairy dust do you think he took? <laughs> uh, hey! Hey, woo now. I guess now that we got some downtime, I should mention uh, Kuroino Kaze was nice enough to make this long play specifically for us to comment over. Right. He not only, uh, not only provided the video, but... Come on! Okay! Here I come! Why did they get farther away from their microphones on this one? My reaction would be a bit different to Graham's. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck's happening to me?! <laughs> I'm fucking flying! I gotta go back to the medieval gym and bench some more! <laughs> oh, you made King Graham look uh. foolish. You will be executed! Ooh, looks like the fanny dust just wore off! <laughs> off with his head! Cedric, where have you been? I've been calling for you. Uh, just watching other wizards. Uh, just for no well, reason. Well, oh, hey, an answer. What have we here? You just gonna sit there and let your fucking underwear get soaked? Not a bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense. Oh, I like it in like here. A wet dog. <laughs> Well, what if I enjoy it? I am a king. What dog? My ass isn't that hairy. <laughs> Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Cedric, go in there and be an entertainer. Oh, yes, sir, fucking bossy asshole. Yeah, follow Bob and Threadbare in the house. <laughs> my family's missing and so's my home, but yeah, I can just keep it nice, easy pace. Let's just stare at each other uncomfortably. I think I'm going to put this above my fireplace. The this is perfect. The of wizards has always taken a dim view of me. Crispin, I will be commandeering your house. Why, he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems... I'm fighting all my instincts not to open that treasure chest. Why would Mordak want to take my family? Or... Why would my arms do this as I talk? I'm afraid I don't know... You talk with your hands a lot, don't you, Graham? a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that. <laughs> Just draw a black pixel <laughs> growing in size and shrinking. That's enough for a wizard talking. Kristen, that's why I brought him here. Well, is he still here? Now. I have the feeling Cedric's voice actor really is Graham's, just with a fake, like, you know, high pitched tone. A little rusty lately. Just tweak some settings on Audacity. A little rusty. That's quite enough from you, Cedric. You're dead to me. <laughs> he casts a spell and his head explodes. Go work on your Mickey Mouse impression some more. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? I have that would be of much use to you. I'm stroking my beard in case you couldn't tell. Worn out. I, I think. <laughs> much like the Winter Warlock from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Plagiarized Fairy Tales no, number is the two. Oh, so old. Oh, I broke my hip walking over here. King's Quest five and a half, the search for a hospital. <laughs> you really did? What, what are we waiting for here? Loading? 
Are those bug like bug zappers on the ceiling too? <laughs> there, we, there we go. Yeah, take it all in, Graham. You can't look away. He's really spry. Hmm. Might work. Here, eat this. <laughs> Pull down his pants. That's an old piece. Graham will just consume anything that people give to him. From last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. Unlike what I've done in doing with the owl? This is uh, completely unhelpful in your quest to find your home. Whoa, what's <laughs> just some quick weightlifting? I don't even know what I'll just shake you a martini? Most of its power may be gone. <laughs> Magic you martini. Know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. Unfortunately, Crispin was very Best senile, and nothing he was saying made no sense. telling what that confounded Morlack could be up to. You go with him. <laughs> he might even be stealing, kidnapping your family. Oh, wait. That yeah, whippersnapper. Don't be such a coward. Now go on. You'd better get started. <laughs> also, take my annoying ass owl. I appreciate all you've done for me. <laughs> I will now exit the house going this way. Thank Is you. Is this how peasants talk? I'm trying to fit in. <laughs> I am just a villager with a silly hat. Graham pulls out his silly hat. Ooh, I suggest we visit the town first. <laughs> I suggest you visit a better graphic designer first. Please don't call me your majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. And I'd like to call you dinner. Ooh, I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Is that like a, like a ceiling fan well, chain hanging from his monocle? Away, <laughs> All right. All right. So, so <laughs> another thing to point out or that we were talking about earlier is that uh, this guy also provided us a write-up of some background information and trivia on King's Quest V. Yeah, he did. He did. So <clears throat> we could totally have trivia contests between each other. Mm -hmm. So I could say, hey, Slowbeef, what was the best-selling video game from 1990 to 1995 for the PC? And I could answer Dark Se No. Uh, mm -hmm. I could an Wait, I, I know this. Is... Mm -hmm. Take your time. Is, is it Metroid Other M? Yes. Oh. Second to King's Quest V. Okay, well, but, you know. I could I could ask you another uh, another one too is um uh what sold over 1.5 million copies with a development cost of over 1 million do whoa 1 million dollars <laughs> development cost it all went to the voice acting coaching <laughs> I will <laughs> you'll have to pay me 20 grand to talk like a high pitched idiot owl the tiny gram mouse pointer's throwing me off <laughs> uh, well as well it should well. The Quest of Kings begins. <laughs> right. <laughs> Kings Quest V. Absence makes the heart go yonder? <laughs> God. I hope someone got sick coming up with that pun. Yeah. Besides you and me, you mean? No, right, right, right. 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 Shall we hop into part one? Yeah. All right. Meanwhile, Graham increases his volume and speed. I want all of the detail. Oh. <laughs> Graham, watch out! A poison a snake! A poison a snake, you say? He, he means the snake has a lot of poise. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that sounds just like a rattlesnake. Yeah, it has this little static rattle. As I understand it, too, Corona Kaza included death sequences in this as well. Mm hmm. It's going to be a perfect run of King's Quest V, get all the points, but include that bullshit deaths. Why, Graham? Even speech with forked tongue should never be trusted. You've got 12 grams of venom in your heart. <laughs> in silence, the large serpent eyes Graham menacingly. Who, who, who are you now? What? <laughs> it's like Wilford Brimley talking about... <laughs> Graham, Liberty Medical can protect you from snake bites. I want to talk to you about good of natural Quaker oats. A spotted cow quietly chews her cud. <laughs> so I guess you're with us for the long term, huh? The cow doesn't have anything to say. 
Her mouth is too full of cud. Roberta Williams couldn't think of anything to write there. So. Much like how Graham's mouth is full of cud whenever he talks. I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Thank God. <laughs> then a giant eagle comes and just tears him apart. Graham just kind of rolls his eyes. Well, the, the town theme, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is cacophonous. Welcome the Digital Minstrels. We are the wagon. I can't hear the fucking voice actor over the fucking you, good dog. What? No, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Giving me trouble. I can't hear you over the Calliope in the back. Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. Thank you kindly, but I have to kill myself after hearing this for the past several years. Thanks. With this wagon, I'm gonna need it. By the way, this town has been rendered deaf and crazy. Would you like to hop on the merry-go-round from hell? Just pick up the fish. I heard... Stuff the fish in your ears, Jesus. Help! The fish is in a better place than we are. One million dollar budget. <laughs> Graham flees from the horrifying soundtrack of the town. King's Quest V, A Tale of Fiscal Irresponsibility. No, don't go back, Graham, no, oh, no! No, I can't! Ah! God, Jesus it. Christ! Even though look how fast that kid's running away from everything. I can't get the voices out of my head! Oh, we, we got a one-pixel coin. We're about to. That's great, Slowby! <laughs> Can you just mute this part of the video and spare it so nobody, everybody doesn't hit the X at once? Wow, that was He recorded cool. this just for us. To kill us. <laughs> this is Damn a Resupre assassination attempt. Damn you, Kuroi no Kaze! God damn, that was horrifying. Meanwhile, in Castle Lumber Bakehouse... What do you think the oh. Bakehouse theme will be? Oh, yeah. Here, Graham. Yeah, the owl was smart. I thought Noah really didn't go into town. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Chris, er, uh, Cedric. <laughs> well, that's not much better. Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. Thanks for asking, man. You know, I know that's supposed to be two people, but it looks like the guy's wearing a really tiny dress. I look lovely. I <laughs> you're right, actually. <laughs> it's like he's, he's, he's dressed like a woman and talking to himself. I look great. Wait, let's talk to that kid before they can leave. The lady appears to be in a real hurry as she walks briskly past the Well, they do gonna be in a real hurry. They're creeped out by this buff king. Things are going to be rough from Graham when those oh, yeah. old Duke boys Why show up. <laughs> I am an aristocrat and I hate your paper airplane hat. Goodbye. Goodbye. I just want to throw that out. I think everyone hates that hat. Welcome to our bakehouse. Oh, shit. I became very large all of a sudden. I'm in a giant blueberry. Goodbye. Oh my god, look at that hair. Silver coin each, but That's my hair. Your time. Oh. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> this is a very intense store. Mangy cat. The cat Let's talk to the cat. Much less answer him. The cat sings. This game sucks too. Eyes lining the tables and countertop attract Graham's eyes and nose. The acoustics in my voice acting booth are fantastic. It's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Would you like to buy the stick removed from your ass, baby? <laughs> Those custard pies look most delicious. Yes, It almost makes me forget about the tragic thing that happened to my castle. <laughs> Am I supposed to be hunting but for my family or getting pie? I forget. Let me just sign you a check with the little quill in my hat. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a different kind of big house. I thought you had some fairy dust here. That's how you draw a coin? Seriously? These five cost one silver coin each. I feel like this is like a flash game somebody made. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your custard pie. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> Fade to black. In fact, I'm going to go say Arrival in Hell genuinely had better voice acting than this. Bollocks. Anyway. 
Alexander did the whole running thing better. Graham's just walking and hoping Cedric doesn't notice him. <laughs> I'm just going to go. Oh, damn it. What is that thing? Is that a person? A log sits a dashing young prince who looked what? very sad and confused. Dashing? Who are you to say who's dashing, Mr. Narrator? Now that my wife's not here, let's talk oh. about it. Excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. Would you want to go behind the tray? I need silver coins. <laughs> Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. Okay. I've been searching everywhere for my fiancé. <laughs> I'll bet you have. <laughs> yeah. With long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes, and smooth cream. Is she in a tower somewhere by any chance? Have you seen her anywhere about? No, sorry. And he slaps him in the face. One like that. That's what I figured. No one has seen her. No one. Witch who lives in the dark forest. And I since no one's seen her, do you want to go behind that tree like you suggested before? I'll keep an eye out for her. If I well, I do need some fairy dust. Oh, well, all right. Well, would appreciate that. Well, am I supposed to be I shaving my family or yours? I kind of forget. I'm not ever going to find her. Just Graham's just like whatever the fuck. I don't care. Thanks for your concern. Graham's easily distracted from his priorities. <laughs> Did he, he had the running thing down, that guy. <laughs> Graham, the forgetful adventurer. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's over here, I wonder? <laughs> oh, boy. Fortunately, Graham can't read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, now just uh, keep it at Snake. Like Years of consanguination right. made sure his genes were nice and screwed. Enter at your own risk. Oh, that's what it says. All right. No, no, <laughs> Graham doesn't understand I'm risk, so. Can't you read the sign? I just read the first word, Come so. Come on, Cedric. There might be something <laughs> important in here. They said enter no, it your own. You want to? I'll wait here. I made that entrance my own. Don't you agree? I don't know what the word Rizva means. Oh God, not a frog run. Well, at least the forest theme is acceptable. Oh God, it's, it's crawling with them. It's like a zombie movie. <laughs> I don't see anything in the foreground. Is that a Ready frog or a frog squirrel hybrid? What the? <laughs> <laughs> All right. King's Quest. Graham, totally off guard. That's awesome. I, I think that's the canonical ending. <laughs> that's the game over <laughs> theme too. Like dun 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 dun. Long pause. I, I think the game over theme should be the town theme, because that just screams death and misery to me. How the fuck... Did it, where did the million dollars go? <laughs> All to that one soundtrack. <laughs> Meanwhile, some kid with 30 bucks in Flash is just like, oh, I, I actually did better than this. <laughs> wow. But to be fair, he also spent a million dollars. Okay, well, that's true. With $30. <laughs> Part two. Yeah, sure. Alright. Meanwhile, in an alternate timeline... I just learned what risk is. Can I bring up something awesome? Yeah, please. Uh, one of the factoids brought up. Music by Mark Siebert. Same as Girl in the Tower. <laughs> well, <laughs> that... <laughs> That duel in front of his house. It's like fitting. Gnome happily plays with an exquisite marionette. <laughs> Exquisite. That does look exquisite. <laughs> exquisite when you squint and it becomes a bunch of pixels. ...on an old stump and smokes a large pipe while watching his grandson at play. I think there's, like, a lot of drug overtones in King's Quest V. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, I'm terrible. Go on. <laughs> I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? Sir, do you have a white van over there? It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's <laughs> oh, God. Done. Graham, you know what you're supposed to be doing, right? <laughs> I see where Alexander gets it from, though. Yeah. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. Here's another great eight-tone musical track. To speak to the unknown. What? The boy seems to be very shy and doesn't answer. Graham pulls out his magic candy. Another puzzle solved. You know, building off of what you said earlier, um, Mark, the soundtrack, maintains a website where he provides free downloads of all the music he made. In front of the barn. Really? 
<laughs> you you don't you mean it didn't sell out in like a <laughs> store? I got what the uh oh the mystical bear theme <laughs> right next to the town <laughs> is a fucking bear 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 oh, handed combat oh my god here holy we go. shit yes let's see how we do this you should be very careful around a big old bear. <laughs> Thank you, Wilford. Intent on the honey to listen to Graham. Listen to him? Well, you can talk to the animals and stuff. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> the bear fucking, fucking did... clocked him. That's awesome. Graham should know better than to be the bear. <laughs> the bear looks at the hat and is like, I don't want this. This is ugly. Why well, couldn't that have happened to Alexander? Over and over again. Alright, here we go. Yeah, throw a fish at him. <laughs> then the bear walks over and punches <laughs> the punches right. <laughs> Oh boy. I want to thank you ever so much for saving our hearts from the I have a bad feeling there's some horrible deviant art of this. How would you like to thank me? I offer you a lot of honeycomb from our hearts. Feel free to retrieve one. It sounds like it's supposed to be a southern bell in a glass of water. It may come in hand. We'd like to thank Honeycomb for sponsoring King's Quest V. <laughs> Love song by Mark Saber. Mm, me want Honeycomb. The large stick from the ground. We did that for a stick. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. You couldn't have gotten fucking honey in a stick elsewhere, or bought honey from a store. You're a king. These aren't very talkative bees. I'll have to do battle with a bear to get that stick. No, Al, for being such a wuss, you wouldn't mind getting close to those bees. But... Oh man, we gotta defeat this wolf so we can get a rock. <laughs> That's what this is about? No, I don't know. Dog digs playfully at the huge anthill while the poor ants starve about King Graham, friend to all insects. Did the ants build a sandcastle? Uh, apparently they did. Okay. Just checking. Here's another annoying track. <laughs> then the bear comes and punches Al. <laughs> dog leg. Oh, right. no, dog. dog, whatever. It's a dog eat Graham world. Oh dog. my god, the, the ants are killing him, just like in Indiana Jones. Ooh, is that the new dance dream? The what? I, I, I hope so. Man, that dog looks mean. <laughs> Please, God, let the dog just punch him. The dog doesn't seem to be a friendly sort at all. Unlike me. <laughs> then the dog mauls him. <laughs> Bites his balls off. I'm King Anthony the Great. What? May I ask who you are? So you can talk to very tiny animals. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend. Well, they're the only ones who pay him any any mind so he can just crush them otherwise. The ocean on the other side. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider. Wait, wait, we're doing all this because we don't have a ship? What kind of shitty king are we? Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. Please don't speak on my behalf, Graham! Part of the million dollars went towards these clever writers. <laughs> there we go. And PC gaming must have been dead in the early 90s if this was the best selling game. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I can buy this or Excel. <laughs> uh, Excel did have a better soundtrack. Graham watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack and begins to swarm through it. <laughs> wow. Let's see what our prize is for saving their whole fucking colony. How does Graham express surprise? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hold on, we have to load this great track from Mark Siebert. What? Oh, God, All help right. me. The bear comes and tears them apart. <laughs> comes and punches them. <laughs> I can only think of two lines for lyrics, and then we're just gonna go to whistling, okay? And then he waves the conductor's baton. Good call, Mark. At his Casio keyboard. I'm glad right. to see that it was a way that we could be of help to you. 
What did that even accomplish? We found the gold you need, little haystack. <laughs> really? Good. That is worth nothing. <laughs> Why, thank you, King Anthony. <laughs> he I'm steps on him. <laughs> I am a king befitting of a platinum needle, at least. <laughs> I hope we got, like, a million points for that. And then the bee stings Cedric to death. I can't believe how ripped he is. Look, even there. Like, his sprite is ridiculous. You're talking about Cedric? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, meanwhile, desert? How? <laughs> oh, there's nothing but the hot, dry desert for the West. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Oh, if you insist on going... Bye, Cedric. <laughs> Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. And Miles West. Well, this looks fun. <laughs> hmm, hot blistering desert just over here, two screens away. <laughs> and now I'm dead. This looks like a very fun part of the game. Graham goes through great lengths to avoid that town with the horrible soundtrack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the precursor to Uncharted 3. <sighs> Life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. How are you supposed to know that was there? Could you go anywhere else? By, yeah, you went oh, like, left, left, down. Oh, uh, left. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it was a mirage, and Graham was just eating sand, no, accelerating his death. Other tinier Graham's trying to go to the right. An old shoe lies forgotten near the. Thank God. Well, we couldn't have gotten a shoe anywhere else. Just have to pick this up with my golden needle. <laughs> By the way, this is a way to render the game unwinnable. Apparently, if you throw the shoe to the dog, it works, but you need it for something else. Because this game is full of like bullshit ways, like for you to render it unwinnable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sierra. Adventure game enthusiasts have a term for this called "Walking Dead," which is exactly how I feel right now. Alright, we'll just wander over the dunes. Quick power walk for the old calves. <laughs> My kingly balls sure are sweaty right now. Mm -hmm. Desert, alright. Alright, the sequel to Desert. Oops. Nah, I don't even need it. I'll just eat a power bar and keep going. Too late. Graham <laughs> extreme thirst in the hot desert sun. <laughs> well, Jimmy, that's the end of story time with... Bro Whoa. Time for you to go to bed. I am mildly embarrassed at my dehydration. Grandpa, that story was terrible, and stop doing the owl voice! <laughs> Actually, my impression of a little kid sounds like the actor's impression of Cedric. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> <laughs> then Jimmy and Graham died of thirst in the desert. What did we learn today? And then the crows came down and slowly tore apart his flesh. <laughs> In exact detail, his entrails were carried by King Antony back into the town of terrible music, which I, w I will now sing for you. As the crows chewed him up, a bear came and punched his head clean off. <laughs> Grandpa, bears don't punch, and then he punches the kid. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out he was a bear the whole time. <laughs> and then to steal some honey off the tail of So long, suckers! And that's King's Quest 7. Five. Five. So, <laughs> anyway, well, on to part three. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Now, uh, let's see here. This is a really good part of the adventure game where you're forced to, like, double back to the o oasis every so often. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sierra. Thanks, Roberta Williams. Turns out you're supposed to drink water in the desert. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Right? Hmm. Cedric is such a little baby. But I'm kind of glad for this. Maybe this is why Graham does all these dangerous things to get the hell away from him. Well, Graham power walks through the desert to work out every day, so... <laughs> Stiffly, like a king should. Hum, 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 hum. So basically you're supposed to, like, I guess, trial and error walk through this desert and, and uh, find life, the oasis. Life before Magic Maps was difficult. <laughs> Alright, there's the all-important... Uh, Fountain we were um, going through. Oh, here we go. Bandits. Spoilers. 
The facade of a magnificent temple has been carved into the rocky cliffs by an Damn, does it look ancient good. civilization. <laughs> I just want to eat it. Grandpa, the perspective's all wrong on this. You shut you up. You shut up, kid, or I'll <laughs> take away your water. I'll tell you more about how Alex, uh, Graham died. What the? That's that's the music we're going with. Graham. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Graham, you gotta watch out for them old Duke boys. <laughs> what are we supposed to do instead? Not walk down. Oh, hide. I'm hiding over here, villains. <laughs> This is the music you're going with? It's an alarm clock. Graham can hear the sound of a pro- You hear that? No, you gotta hide Tiny Graham, too! Oh, no. <laughs> Go for that little cursor! <laughs> open that to me! Or just open up, please, since I know there's a door guy behind- thank you. I'll just wait out here, then. So how'd it go? <laughs> you didn't take too long. Yep, still dark in there. <laughs> Graham's like, I have learned much on my journey. <laughs> I will follow those horses. I can, fortunately, I can power walk as fast as they can. Grandpa, where'd the mountain go? <laughs> Don't mention plot holes, Billy. <laughs> it's what we call editing, son. <laughs> Grandpa, is Graham going to die in the desert again? Well, if you'd let me get to the next part, I'll tell you. No, Billy, there's an oasis six screens down and one left from the... The hot sun uh -oh. choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink, and soon... <laughs> Cedric, I need you to come pee in my mouth. <laughs> Fortunately, he ran into the desert bar. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, no. Imagine no maps. I'll try. That's the lesser-known John Lennon song. <laughs> God, this desert music is almost, is like second to the ta town. It's just being, like, annoying. Squee! It's like someone's ringing a dinner bell over and over again. So you have to actually, like, graph this out? Is that what, how this is supposed to work? I guess so. God damn. <laughs> we know what's entertaining. Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal. I get royalties every time I say that. <laughs> this game's sponsored by Dasani. <laughs> Grandpa, I think you already read that page. And the bear punches No, that's game. what we call loading the state, son. <laughs> oh, Grandpa Bear. Did I tell you about when I punched him in the alternate timeline? Now listen up, Billy, because there's more desert to talk about. Uh, oh. With disgust, Graham looks at a drunken bandit lying face down in the Oh, Jesus bandit. Christ. Completely passed out. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, Billy tips for the merrymaking bandits within the larger tent. Why are these bandits considered evil all of a sudden? Grandpa, I can't hear you over the music. Billy dances for the merrymaking bandits within the larger... <laughs> Grandpa, this story's getting a little racy. Where did your pants go? Ah, life-giving water. Oh, damn it! We gun. know. Graham can now feel strength. And Graham stands in the room. water for a little while. <laughs> Graham is not exactly a master of stealth. <laughs> Let's just do three frames of animation for that? Okay. This music is awful. Mark Saber, what the hell is wrong with you? An intruder! <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't a very smart move, Graham. Wow, Grandpa, that party got out of control fast. <laughs> Where did the fifth, fourth guy even come from, Grandpa? <laughs> we'll just take the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark staff. He reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. <laughs> One million dollars spent licensing copyright. <laughs> Graham gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Aww. Just like this story is right now. <laughs> now back to the party. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a little look at uh, 
that belly dancer some more. Imagine all the nomads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Seabird and I'm insane! Grandpa, please stop. <laughs> Grandpa, stop singing, please. Punches him again. <laughs> Grandpa, why'd you bring this horrible band in here with you? <laughs> These are my friends, the bandits, Billy. They're gonna <laughs> dance you to sleep. They're gonna play you to slumber. <laughs> the the on, 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 fans are taking their toll on Graham. Grandpa, I know. And soon... Grandpa, did you forget what page you're on again? Don't worry, Billy. There's an oasis eight screens right of the bandits. Or not. A rope and water basket sit near a small well. Graham decides he can't live without his family. <laughs> Graham puts the other end of the rope around his neck. <laughs> then the girl from the ring came up and killed him. Ah, life-giving water. Ah, Jesus. Nectar of the God. Graham drank a whole bucket full. And renewal flowing <laughs> this telescope isn't working. Hmm. And now a graphic urination sequence. <laughs> yep, desert desert. Bandits Desert 2, that's the ticket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, are we going back to the Temple of Evil or whatever the fuck? So King's Quest V, 70% desert, maybe? Oh yeah, easily. 80? Oh. <laughs> Part... <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Even the sting of such a small he got stung? Can prove deadly. Yeah! He's dead! Holy shit! That, oh, okay. that's, just, that's the shittiest thing I've ever seen! Why would you even do that? <laughs> Gra Grandpa, that wasn't in the story. You just said that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no story's that dumb. <laughs> Grandpa, what did that... <laughs> if this were a video game, what would that even add it? <laughs> Hey, by the way, Cedric, thanks for the heads up on that scorpion. My eye in the sky. And then Travis Touchdown came and picked it up. <laughs> what the hell? <heck? sighs> wow. Sierra. Uh, life giving. Presents King's Quest. Yeah, I know what water does. At least now I do. Best selling game of 1990. Through 1995. The second best-selling game, Strick 9. <laughs> no, it's Strick 9. It's not actually a video game. Do not lie. Third best-selling game was Minesweeper. How many more fucking uh, minutes of desert do you think we have? A thousand? Well, uh, the thumbnail for part four doesn't have desert. That's promising. Well, I think we're almost done with it because we have the Bandit's Temple, which <laughs> I bet you is like one room. Well, they have a temple. Yeah, remember? Uh, saw, oh, that yeah. temple, right. Yeah. The temple of, like, a regular perspective. <laughs> where it's, like, it's just leaning back somehow. And there we go. Open. Please. Let's just save. Because, uh, greed. Greed. Hmm. I'm interested in this chapter title. Open Sesame! That doesn't sound like Graham at all. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Treasure. Treasure piled everywhere. The sparkling <laughs> you couldn't the even see verb in that. Wow, would you look at that. Oh my. Look at all this treasure. <laughs> Was that take two? I guess. Hurry. The exit door is about to close. Unless you say open sesame again. Right. Cheer up, Graham. At least you can practice your game of tiddlywinks. What? My name's not Graham, Grandpa. <laughs> I said, cheer up. My name's Billy. Grandpa, what was the lesson there? <laughs> anyway, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough for one day. <laughs> now eat your oats. Eat your oats. <laughs> Grandpa, what happened to Cedric? He dehydrated. <laughs> uh, scorpion, why not? Oh, speaking, oh, you can, uh, Cedric can die, actually. You can, yeah. You can leave him to die at Harpy Island. I would do that. I don't even know what it entails, but I would do it. Absolutely. So now we know why it was called Greed. Mm-hmm. And it certainly was... Sesame! At least we get to see him fuck up again. <laughs> oh, no! The fat broke. How the hell, Lord? What is he, having a meathead? He's really strong. I <laughs> know. 
just shoved that thing in there. If only I hadn't benched so many weights. We picked up the gold coin from the temple floor. That's it? One gold coin we did all this for? Grabs the old brass bottle. Oh. oh. Brass and brass bottle, gold coin, gotta go! Well, as long as he only collects that one of anything at a time. Moving majestically before him, the massive temple door beckons tantalizingly to Graham. Graham. The staff lies in several broken pieces. Several? Steps. Jeez, Graham. Grandpa, what the hell is wrong with King Graham? King Graham doesn't know his own strength. King Graham got some yield ah, HGH. Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. That's why he tried to Graham take on that bear. Strength and renewal flowing through him. Power up, Graham. <laughs> All right. Mm. Yeah, let's let's get that save game never. Let's happened. retcon that out and, and... Shamer. Shamir Shamazel. Shamir Shamazel. That's the name of the genie from King's Quest Six. All right. Hmm. What the? <laughs> Meanwhile, in a fantasy world. Ah, oh, freedom at last! Now you spend the next five hundred years in a bottle. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. How does that work? Finally, a roommate. <laughs> Three wishes. Never heard of that. You get instant death. So, son, that was the negaverse. <laughs> Grandpa, that doesn't fall with anything I've heard about genies. Just listen. <laughs> Graham continued wandering along the rock wall. And then was stung by a scorpion in the end. <laughs> I'd like to see every death come and hit Graham at once that's happened so far. <laughs> Tell you what, Billy, the next ten pages are the same as this one, so let's just skip ahead. <laughs> this is Grandpa trying to find his place in the story. <laughs> yeah, he's like going through the Graham pages. was walking, and uh, uh, so he walking. kept walking for a while. Clearly, th this part it was okay, and scorpion free. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. <laughs> just starting? You've gone for hours. I'm used to this kind of thing. I'm used to dying multiple times. Ooh, keep your eye on the gypsies, Graham. <laughs> them. What? Cedric the racist owl. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the gypsy like brushes Cedric and says, I curse you thinner. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I really like his uh, his like little signal sauce. That's yeah. awesome. It is a shiny gold coin. <laughs> Surely these greedy gypsies will take it, says Cedric. I'm sorry. Surely these greedy sort. gypsies will take it. It will cost you one gold coin to see Madamushka. Thank you, Kung Lao. <laughs> you may see Madamushka now. Now that you have given me one gold coin, as I asked Warning. previously. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information <laughs> what? or clues cartoon? to complete this game. Please be sure to check. <laughs> Warning! I have a very liberal game. interpretation of the word cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this fucking tricep. <laughs> Gonna DVR this. You are here to see Marimushka, no? <laughs> He crushes the crystal ball in one hand. <laughs> I came to watch cartoons. Already I can tell. Why is she moving like that? <laughs> She's Ernest Evansing. I cannot stop the shaking. Look into the crystal ball. I paid one gold look coin for this. Happened. Look what I have for you. What the fuck? Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Huh? Because what? of you, he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. What? Was he holding Alexander up to a cat? The That's Alexander? Him, you're the only one who can turn him back again. Back to the wizard Manhattan. Alexander! <gasps> I don't know how, Mordek. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across the magic spells and accidentally turned your brother into I'll a give cat. you a manicure, though. You need I didn't it. Mean it. Please believe me, Mordek. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. Oh, God. Here's Alexander begging for his life. Oh, me, little man. Same old Alexander. Taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat. <laughs> why, would a, why would a cat eat humans, though? Yeah. Cats are usually pretty picky about what they eat. <laughs> well, this cat is apparently his brother, so... Why did he... wait. 
So he transports the I castle, makes it miniature, them. and puts it in a jar. No a little elaborate. Indeed. Well, people do that with ships. And Alexander wasn't really to scale there. He's much bigger than the castle. Graham seems pretty chill about it. Amulet. <laughs> I never really liked my wimp son. Again, all but the most powerful magic. He can't even do skull crushers. Ridiculous. <laughs> Good luck, King Ram. Be careful. That Mordek is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mushka. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Crystal balls were like the fantasy version of YouTube in this day. Now I need to go bench Jollo for a little while. <laughs> Whoa. Work those thumbs, Graham! To a soft leather <laughs> Apparently you can give the golden needle to the gypsies and render the, the game unwinnable, too. Begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. Yeah, there's about uh, eight or nine ways you can win the, uh, render the game unwinnable. Hiding mm -hmm. from sight. Oh no, other way around. Um, you can use a gold coin to purchase something else, but they, and they won't take it. Mm -hmm. So, they won't take the needle, so you're fucked. That sounds fun! Oh yes, it sounds like something the Quest of Kings would be involved in. But oh dear. Little palm surrounds the base of a beautiful weeping willow tree. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's really hot. Picturesque. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. What's wrong, Graham? That salt water. Ah, <laughs> uh, Miss Willow. You're polluting the lake. Bow down, Graham, if you're not embarrassed about it. Why, of course I can. What did you expect? Try not to scream, pull that max cuts her down. <laughs> What's wrong? Everything's wrong, can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. You see, my fiancé and I were walking through this wood. Don't say it. And a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When he naturally refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land. I mean, that is one way to do it. Yeah, really the only way. Wait, faraway land? He's like three screens over. Yes. Far away. Gold and took it away with her. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, all I have to cheer me up is my heart. Can you play some music for the town a few screens over? <laughs> that would improve life there. Leave me alone in my sorrow. You got it, bye. <laughs> Graham, you're not even going to help! Just shut the fuck up, Cedric. The emo int. I think now I'm prepared for this uh, evil witch. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Back to the east is Crispin's house! <laughs> Beyond the warning. I'm basically a GPS! To close in, entangling and confusing all who dare enter here. Oh, oh dear. I I think that's enough of a cliffhanger for right now. Who is that talking? <laughs> Grandpa, the story goes in circles. Was that the kid or the owl? <laughs> Either way. It, it fits. <laughs> I like to think also the bear is telling the owl the story. Graham, what you're doing doesn't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> Why the fuck did you spend so much time in the desert, you dumbass? I love his reaction to the crystal ball, too. Like, Alexander! <laughs> 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 thank you. Thanks. Well, thank you for the heads up. Good to meet you. That's a coin well spent. I should have washed the ball, but I was too busy doing curls. Anyway, off to the castle. Oh, right, yeah. Gone. Huh. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to kill that wizard and sleep in his house. Well, it's a living. Indeed. Dead to rights. Dead to rights. <laughs>